Hello Capricorn, welcome to Wasted Traditions. I'm Tiffany. Here we explore the wisdom of the tarot. I read intuitively, offering general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and to leave the rest. Before we get started, I am going to bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light. As I shuffle and draw, may your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. All right, let's get it started, Capricorn. This is your reading for the week of March 3rd through March 9th. All right, so let's get started and find out what spirit needs you to know for this upcoming week. Divine Spirit, bless. What does Capricorn need to know? Do tell. All right. Electric Eel Spirit, bring your ideas to life. All right. Bring your ideas to life, electric ill spirit. All right, Capricorn, what is it you're thinking about? What is it you feel is nudging at you to bring out into the world? Some new idea you're carrying. You may have been thinking about it for a few weeks now, maybe even a few months. Spirit is guiding you to go ahead and bring those ideas to life. All right, Capricorn, did you check out your reading last week? It was spirit was was telling you to transform your limiting beliefs. Go ahead and comment below if there's anything you've recently changed about your belief system. If you didn't catch that video, I will link it, link it in the cards as well as in the description. Divine Spirit, tell us more about the electric ill spirit bring your ideas to life for Capricorn two of cups hmm. and seven of cups for bringing your idea to life. Okay, Capricorn, let's get into this. All right, bringing your ideas to life. Two of Cups. Okay, so something that you have that you want to bring into the world, it will create um, great relationships for you, great networking opportunities to help you get this idea off the ground. That's what I'm getting for you right now, Capricorn. Definitely partnerships regarding this new idea. And then <clears throat> with that also, you have the Seven of Cups. Now, you're going to have to use your inner wisdom Capricorn, right? Because you'll have all kinds of people trying to get in on the ground level of this new idea of yours. But use your inner wisdom. Use discernment uh, to determine who would be the best fit for a partnership relationship concerning this idea. This feels definitely like a business opportunity for you, Capricorn, okay? Yeah, you have a choice. You have several options to choose from with those who want to get in on the ground for it, like I said. Uh, but you must use discernment. You must analyze the words that they're telling you, but also watch their actions when you're deciding to come into partnership with someone for this new idea you need to bring to life. All right, let's get some more clarification for the Two of Cups and the Seven of Cups, Capricorn. Okay, let's see. Hmm. 
more clarification spirit for Capricorn two of cups seven of cups if you will please do tell this two of cups five of swords the high priestess all right shadow card for Capricorn is the Sun we'll get into this momentarily all right so with this two of cups we have the five of swords all right challenging it, it could prove challenging for you Capricorn coming um, into market so to speak with this new idea that you want to bring to life some hiccups some uh, a lot of change in how you go about things but it can also be very very adventurous for you through this process of bringing this new idea to life I feel like the reason there will be a challenge with finding the right partner Capricorn is and challenging for you is because of this seven of cups and use and needing to use discernment and needing to use your inner wisdom Capricorn we have the high priestess here right the high priestess is very in tuned with inner wisdom with intuition high priestess male or female energy um and so again spirit is just telling you use discernment use your intuition with what is being presented to you by any of the choices you have for someone trying to get in on the ground floor of your new idea that's the challenging part for you is being able to listen to and know your intuition when you hear it and trusting it going with that gut feeling okay Capricorn let's get some more let's get some more for you all right we have B spirit sweet results await this is beautiful spirit is telling you that when you birth this idea when you bring this new idea to life you will have sweet results although there will be challenges anything worth having is something fighting to fight for ace of wands that's that new idea that's bringing that thing to life and then knight of cups all right so with this ace of wands this is the new beginning this is that new idea this is going to bring you to a place of um independence capricorn okay you are inspired to do this you have again you've been thinking about this for quite some time it is your desire to bring this new thing to life um and 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 spirit is telling you sweet results await but again with these sweet results also rely on your inner wisdom also rely on your intuition to get you where you need to go okay um capricorn right so this knight of cups you definitely want to be able to follow your heart your heart is pushing you towards this new thing your heart is pushing you to bring this new thing to life let's get some clarification with the ace of wands we have the queen of wands wow wow capricorn and with the knight of cups we have the two of wands so with the ace of wands and you have the queen of wands clarifying this for you determination it's going to take determination on your part do not give in because there will be challenges ahead on this new process and this new venture for you yet you will find joy 
you are courageous, number one, for going after what you want, Capricorn, for going after what you desire, for creating your own destiny. You are absolutely courageous with this Queen of Wands. And Queen of Wands energy, male or female, is saying, it, it, it's telling you, uh, or it's showing us, it's showing me that you are determined to do this. You will find joy in this new idea you're bringing to life. And then along with the Knight of Cups, we have the Two of Wands clarifying this Knight of Cups. There are some decisions to be made to while you're while you're urged to, to follow your heart, Capricorn. Um, relationships are going to be affected by the choices that you make, right? Because Let's be honest, Capricorn, not everybody wants to see you win. So there are choices to be made as far as your relationships are concerned. And you're going to have to balance things out with this new venture. Do your very best to, again, be discerning with who you're sharing this information with, who you get in partnership with. In order for your new idea to come to life in in the most harmonious and joyful way because this is a process. This is hard work. Your determination and your courage will be tested, but you are strong enough to do this. You have what it takes. You have the willpower to see this through. And Spirit is telling you, Spirit is telling you, make your plans. Um, there are decisions to be made, even concerning your relationships that you currently have. There will be some that may fall away because they don't want to see you win because of their own insecurity, right? All right. One more set of cards to go through. Nightingale spirit. Love is all around. You are divinely protected. You are divinely loved, Capricorn. Absolutely. You are resourceful. And although this change that's coming towards you with this new idea. Um, it's exciting, but it's also, it's also you'll find exactly how resourceful you are, how determined you are. This is, this is true for you, Capricorn. Love is all around you. You are divinely protected. You are divinely guided in this new process. So with the Nightingale spirit, you have the King of Pentacles. All right. This is beautiful. And the Knight of Swords. Kings, seeing a king in a reading anywhere is always a beautiful thing. It's always a great sign to point to yes, you can, to yes, this will, this will take effect. Yes, this will elevate you. Um, so with this King of Pentacles, this is telling you your new idea that you're bringing to market, bringing to life will be successful for you financially, uh, very successful financially. OK. There's prosperity, there's abundance coming with this new idea. And then we have the Knight of Swords, right? This is swift. The Knight of Swords moves quickly, right? But it also takes some strategy on your part. Again, it's being discerning. It's listening to your intuition, intuition when it comes to partnerships um, and those who want to support you or get in on the ground floor of your new venture, right? This, this is, it requires action on your part. A lot of, a lot of planning. You, you can't go out this just by the seat of your pants, Capricorn. Although you have been thinking about this, this new idea for some time now, be strategic in your plan and how you're going to roll this thing out, how you're going to walk it out to bring it to fruition and be be extremely abundant and extremely successful um, and bring great wealth to you. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles with the magician, the alchemist. Oh, my gosh. True leadership. 
This is true leadership. It's just pointing, spirit is pointing back to this king of pentacles with the alchemist, with the magician as confirming you are a true leader. You are able to do this. And with, wow, with the magician, it's it's magic. There is so much creation in, in, in you. Um, you are going to master this thing. You are going to absolutely master this thing, Capricorn. You have the willpower. You have the drive. You have the determination to see this through. And with the Knight of Swords, we have the Nine of Wands. Whoa. Okay. Okay. We, it's what spirit is showing us today with this nine of wands that is clarifying the knight of swords. It's showing your resil your resilience, Capricorn. This is confirming that yes, you will be a strategic planner and you are also resilient. You have the grit, you have what it takes, you no holds barred. You, you stand your ground and you are determined to see it through, to see it to success. Capricorn, this is beautiful. Be mindful. Just be mindful. Cautious about who you're bringing into this um, and who you let in on the ground floor. So your shadow card, the sun card, which is another card that simply points to yes, Capricorn, okay? simply points to yes. So this, your shadow card is saying, well done. Your shadow card is saying, absolutely. This, the sun, absolutely success. You will be absolutely successful, Capricorn, with what you are about to bring into the world. Do you not feel wonderful about this, right? There is so much creativity and joy. The sun brings joy. The sun brings uh, a chance to express yourself. And that is exactly what you're setting out to do here. You, I mean, the, the, the fact of the matter, just having the ace of wands, the king of pentacles, the nine of wands, the, the, you, there's, this is yes, this is winning for you, Capricorn. <laughs> Um, what I want to say to you before I close out this video is prepare for a celebration. Prepare for a celebration, Capricorn. It's all here for you. All right. I, I love this for you. Capricorn, if you've made it to the end of the video, comment. I'm ready for this new option in front of me. I hope this resonates with you and you find it useful on your journey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos I have for you. I will see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.